Let's see the breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's uh, head straight to our first conversation. We'll look at the issue of PVC collection and uh, voter education and her awareness. Now, no fewer than 6.7 million Nigerians are yet to collect their permanent voters' cards less than eight weeks to the general elections. Data obtained from the state offices of the Independent National, Elec National Electoral Commission, INEC, on, has revealed that 6.7 million PVCs were locked up in INEC safe across 17 states and the federal capital territory. INEC had announced that the collection window for PVCs will commence December the 12th, 2022 and end on January 2022, that's 2023. Uh, the INEC National Commissioner on Voter uh, Information and Voter Education, Festus Okoye, disclosed in a statement that with effect from January the 6th to the 15th, uh, 2023, the collection of PVCs would be devolved to ward level, after which collection would be moved to local government areas. Uh, the past elections have been mirrored by voters' apathy. Now, and if you take a look at the 2019 general elections, INEC said that about 82.3 million registered voters. However, only 28.6 million voted in the polls, which resulted in the re-elections of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, who polled 15 million to defeat his close rival Atiku Abubakar, who scored 11.2 million votes. Now, during the Lagos State governorship elections, less than 2 million voted in the poll, which was won by Babajide Songwulu of the APC. He garnered 739,445 votes uh, to defeat Jimmy Agbaji of the PDP, who got 206,141 votes. Data from Lagos State INEC office revealed that as of December 20. 29, a total of 1,693,963 PVCs remained uncollected. This was disclosed in a document tagged INEC Lagos PVCs report. We have this morning joining us uh, the HOD Voter Education and Publicity Department, Adenike Tadeshi. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the show. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. All right. I'd like to find out from you, what is responsible for the numbers that we have, the statistics, persons who have not collected their PVCs? Well, thank you very much. Uh, let me start by telling us that the PVCs that we have in our custody, are the, we have two categories of PVCs. The old ones, those ones that registered between 2011 via the 2019 general election we had, and uh, that one, we, uh, the PVCs were up to 6,570,291. And we should be aware that some of those people that are uh, engaged in the registration might have died. And mostly, most of them were core members that are engaged in this registration. And definitely, they had gone to their various uh, uh, different locations. But... The second part, were well, those people that registered during the continuous voter registration exercise. That one we embarked upon uh, in June 28, uh, 2021. So it's July uh, 2030. All right, Adenike, can you hear yes. me? All right, go ahead. Yeah, as we speak now, so the, 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 the new PVCs that we got, you know, the registered voters of Lagosians now are over 7 million. So now they, the PVCs that we uh, got from the National Headquarters of the Commission, in respect of the, uh, uh, the, the CVR, we got 7 million, uh, no, no, 940,200. Now, when we now add the two uh, different categories of the PVCs, now in Lagos State, we got 7,000, 7,510,491. The accumulation of both old and new. Now, as at 4th January 2023, we've been able to give out 
1,817. So we are left with 1,630,774. And we can see that this number is dis decreasing on a daily basis because people are really trooping out to collect the cars. Like you earlier said, we are going to devolve the cats to the RA levels now. In Lagos State, we have 245 RA levels. That is, the, the, those are the word, we call them word level. And this we are going to commence tomorrow. That will be the 6th January 2023. And we want to believe that the number will reduce drastically because we know how people will come out to collect the cats. So, and this so, is what we are working towards. So I'd like to find out, is it that the people are not coming out to collect their PVCs? What exactly is the reason why we have this? Because if you look at the electoral process, I mean, the dynamics have actually changed for 2023. Uh, we seem to be developing. So the political awareness, the will to be part of the electoral process for 2023 has increased. And then we have, you know, this number of persons who have not collected their PVCs, you know, across different states, 17 to be precise, according to the reports. So what exactly is the case here? Is it the case that the people are not coming out to collect? What are we dealing with? We, 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 I will not say people are not coming out because on a daily basis, like uh, on the 4th, we gave out over 16,000 cats. So it's not as if people are not coming. The only thing is that they need to be patient with INEC because, they, they, in fact, the they, they crowd is even overwhelming in some of the local governments. Because as we speak now, even today, we, the cats are still at the local government before we go to the world level. So people are trooping out. I won't say that we have low turnout. No, people are trooping out. But when we get to the world level, that means the cats will be brought close, closer to our people. So that will give them enough opportunity to even come out the more. Now, and we are going to make use, uh, our personnel will also uh, uh, be more than what those people that are using at the local government, because we are going to make use of our core members that will join the process. So that will make it faster and even seamless. So, so in other words, you're saying that uh, the, the reason why a lot of persons have not collected their PVC, it's not because people are not coming out, but that the process of collection is slow and uh, you're trying to improve that. So I'm not saying the process is slow because if you get to any local government as we speak now, the hours of uh, collection uh, between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and even in Lagos states, the Honorable Resident Electoral Commissioner had even mandated all the electoral officers that you do not even close by 3. At times they close by 6, a, uh, 6 p.m. And no holiday, no, uh, no, during the festive period, they were all there. And Saturdays, Sundays inclusive, they were there. So I am not saying that the process is slow. When you get to any local government, you will see how they have done it. Array by array. In a, in a local government, we might have uh, like 10 RAs, 11 RAs. So you get there, you see that the PVCs have been arranged, array by array. So I won't say the process is slow. Uh, the only thing is that people should exercise patience. If you can look at the figure I just gave you. On the 4th of uh, this January, 16,000 cut across all the LGAs we have in Lagos. So you can see that we are not resting on our hours. We are working assiduously to ensure that all eligible registrants, I will still tell them that before the end of the collection of the PVC on the 22nd, they should be rest assured that all, all eligible registrants will get their cards. I'd like you to, you know, respond and react to the complaints across, you know, different parts of the country. Uh, the process of collection of the PVC has been very difficult. Uh, some people say it's frustrating. And necessarily, uh, the, the point that to, you know, staff of your agency, that's INEC, they say it's, it's so impossible, you know, the attitude and what have you. Some people have also talked about the time. Uh, I have a complaint here and someone said the process of collection is crazy. You will spend the whole day just to be uh, the one uh, I mean, just to collect a card, a small card. They're not even arranged. I just tire, but I must collect it, Sha. Uh, but these are some of the comments, right? And so I, I like you to respond to this because if, if you 
look at the comments. You have also agreed to the fact that a lot of persons are willing to collect their PVCs. But on the other hand, the people are complaining about the process which your agency is uh, responsible for issuing, you know, these cards. They're saying that the, uh, the staff, the people are making it very cumbersome, frustrating them. In most cases, they're being told that the cards are not ready. So how do you react to all of these issues that have been raised by Nigerians in different parts of the states? Well, thank you very much. Let me say this. You know, this you, you, you just said that we started uh, the collection of the PVC on the 12th. That was when we waited for the uh, all the PVCs, be it transfer, be it loss of PVC, uh, PVC, be it uh, deface and things. We have been issuing this PVC over the time, not even on the 12th. But you know, uh, apologies to our people. They really wait till they like last minute to rush. That's what I want to say. They like like last minute uh, rush. Our offices have been opened on daily basis, right from last year, 2022, for this collection of the PVCs. But people will not come out now that we ENEC has come out with the deadline. That is when you now see people rushing, rushing, rushing out. And like I said. Earlier, I said people need to be patient. Everybody, you want to come at the same time, within two minutes, you get your card. The process is not like that because we still need to go through. Now, we have a um, list set of people who call PVC desk officers. Those ones, what they do is if you have your card, they will upload to say that you have collected your card. And there are some people we have omissions. For one reason or the other, if their, if their PVCs have not been printed, they still have to upload to the National Headquarters uh, database to let them know. So there are so, and you have to append your signature on the register that you have collected your card. So, but our people will want to come within a minute to collect your card. It's not like that. They only need to be patient with us. And we still keep telling our people that they will get their cards. So 22nd is still a long way, although we will see that it's almost at our doorstep. But as, as the, uh, like I said the other time, when we get to the RA level, most people will have that opportunity because we are going to deploy more uh, manpower to ensure the seamless uh, collection of these cards. So they only need to be patient. We are giving them that assurance, mm -hmm. especially in Lagos. I just told you that. We have even extended our collection time. Officially, it ought to be between the hours of 9 and 3 p.m. But in Lagos, even 5, 6 p.m., we still give out the cards. So they just need to be patient. They will all get their cards. Well, you know, what, what, when you say uh, patience, then we begin to wonder, uh, because uh, today is the 5th, the elections uh, will be on the 25th of February. So... It's about 20 days to the elections and how patient can the people be, especially when they're very eager and willing to be part of the electoral process. Uh, I also like to ask, there's also been some consents by the civil society organization saying that awareness has not been created by your agency. I'll take for instance, you have mentioned that INEC, I mean, there's collection of PVCs during the weekend, but I ran into someone who wasn't really aware. Of course, I'm, I'm privy to all of this information, and I was able to say, hey, uh, you can get your PVCs on Saturday or Sunday. And she said, I, I never knew about this. So uh, you have also, there's been several complaints about lack of awareness, that the electorate are not really aware of the, uh, a lot of process or all that's going on with the entire process. I, I'd like you to bring us to speed with uh, the level of awareness that you have created you know, for these elections in 2023. Uh, Pre-elections, the process of collecting the PVCs and the election proper. Well, thank you very much. I will not say our uh, people are not aware. The awareness is on the top gear. If the awareness is not up to the expectation of our people, then we wouldn't have been having those mammoth crowd that we have at each polling unit at each uh, local government for collection of the PVC. Before we embarked on this uh, uh, collection of the PVC on the 12th, we held stakeholders meeting at the state level 
and at the local government levels to carry our people along to tell them the modalities and the processes that we are going to embark upon for this collection of payments. And I, when we talk about the stakeholders, we will know that different levels of people, all the major stakeholders, the traditional rulers were there, the religious bodies were there, these uh, civil society organizations, they were there, the youths, the media, the PWDs. So yeah, I, I, I would not want to agree that uh, people are not aware because we spelt out our modalities. So, and at the local government, we have 20 local government uh, offices in Lagos State. They all held their uh, stakeholders meeting at the local government, meaning those people that attended were from the grassroots. So they told them, they give them the modalities of how these PVCs will go, that on uh, weekends will be there from so so, -so time to so, so so time. And even this, the, the world level we are going tomorrow, they, they would not say they are not aware. They were all aware. So the, the, the awareness is there. And even at the local government uh, uh, level, let me say this, we have those we call voter education desk officers. Their own responsibility is to go from one market to the other to tell our people what INEC is doing at a particular moment. And this they have embarked upon, and they are still doing it on a daily basis. To go to their respective domain to sensitize people that this is what we are doing. We are devolving to the array by such a short time within this date and this date. So I will not want to agree with our people that they are not aware of this process. Not entirely aware of the process, but you know the the special dates that have been put out, because a lot of persons are not in the know that PVCs can be collected during weekends. That's Saturdays and Sundays, and that's also not you know something that a lot of people know. But let's move away from that because there's no time. As much as we ask that the people be patient, we really do not have time. Uh, I'd like you to run us through the plans that you have to ease the collection of PVCs between this period that we're speaking uh, before the elections in 20, of course, uh, the 25th of February, 2023? The plans we have for the collection of the PVC? I'm asking that, that what plan, plan no, I'm asking that what plans have you made to ease collection? I mean, to make sure that the process is, you know, seamless, easy, seamless. that yes. all of these, you know, complications that people have complained about everything that all, all of the struggles that you know Lagosians and those in different parts of you know country are complaining about uh, what steps have your agency taken to ensure that people can get their PVCs part of the steps we have taken is uh, we have been talking about it all along that is what we are seeing now to make it more seamless is this issue of devolving the cars to the areas. Now for our people to know, because some people might say, we don't even know where our areas are now. At each local government, the Honorable Resident Electoral Commissioner had mandated all the electoral officers to paste each area in their domain at the local government level. And even in INECA, Lagos State, we have a Oh, well, we have been disconnected uh, right here at Denike Tadishi. Social media and, and on Facebook page. Yeah. Adenike, we had a disconnection prior to this time. Uh, I, I like I need a capitulator. Uh, Adenike, can you please hear us? Okay. So, so we have been disconnected, but very, very important. Uh, all that has happened has happened. I mean, there's really nothing that we can do about it. It's like spilling over, crying over spilled milk. Uh, now that we have how many more days before the elections, do we have Adenike, Adenike back on the line? Okay. Adenike, uh, we apologize. We've been having a bit of network connections right here. Well, if you can hear me, it's good to have you back. So I, I know that you have mentioned uh, the Aries, that's what you said, something like that. But I want you to break it down, okay? The agency, what have you done? So that everybody can understand. You're saying, are you taking the PVC collection to local governments? Those who registered in different local governments, can they go to another local? What does this mean? What does this entail? 
how no, can the that, people now, collect their now, PVCs? If you have registered in a, a particular local government, I uh, think, for example, I registered at a Koshofer local government. You cannot go to Badagri and say you want to go and collect your cards. I know our people, they know this because during the uh, registration exercise, after their registration, they were issued with a slip that would tell them that, that spelled out their VIN numbers, where their PU, their RA, they have on, to, uh, on, on, on the temporary slip given to them. And that is what they will bring to collect their PVC. So I want to say that our people, they know where they will go. And they have been coming out to collect these cards. So and that one is no, it's, there's no controversy on that. They know. And we have even been telling our people that even if you collect your card on election day, because these cards are going to be authenticated by our beavers, this we have told our stakeholders, but with our beavers. And they all know what beavers means. That is by modern voter accreditation system. That is what we are going to use to uh, accredit each uh, voter on election day. So the PVC collection, and that is why our people are talking, because they know the necessity of getting their PVC. Anyway. No, no, so, no. So, I, so tell, I, 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 I think that it will be important because we're doing this for the collective good of the country. And that's what it is. Because when we constantly, you know, stay on this other side to say, uh, people know, the people know, we're, we're just assuming that everybody knows. So not everybody knows. So let's, let's say that what has happened has happened. Now we have 20 days before the elections or thereabout. Uh, you say your agency uh, has, is taking steps to ensure that people get it seamlessly. So get to your local government. What do they need to know? How do they need to get to it? Because we can't assume that everybody knows. Because not everybody knows that's the truth. That is what I'm saying now. You know, from the 12th uh, December that we started this uh, uh, collection of the PVC, they've been going to our local government offices. And if they go to any, because today is the last day for local government uh, uh, collection of the PVC that we will now devolve to the IRAs. Now, if they want to know, there are various areas, just like I have said. What is areas? That is the world level registration areas. We have 245 in Lagos State. 245. So for them to know their areas, they can go to their various local government. We have, we have pasted it on the wall for them. And even on our social media handles in Lagos, we are, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram at INET Lagos. And also on Facebook page, we are on INET Lagos HQ, capital H, capital Q. So we have uploaded all those areas there for our people to go and check where they belong. So like I said the other time, they have their sleep given to them when they went for their registration. So that's, that sleep, they have their array there so they can know their location. And we did that when we were doing a pre display of preliminary register of voters to their areas to, to check their, the correctness of their data on the register, which they did. So the same array is where we are going now. So if you are going, just ensure you go with your temporary sleep. And even if you have lost it, go with a means of identification so that we will know we'll be able to ascertain you are the right owner. Because we don't give out these PVCs by proxy. Nobody can collect on behalf of another person. So once you were physically present, when you are doing your registration, definitely you have to be physically present when you want to collect your cards. So I just avail yourself the opportunity as we are devolving to the RA now to ensure you come out with your sleep. And if your name is omitted on the, uh, with the printing of the PVC, be rest assured that the, uh, the, the PVC desk officers will take note of that and definitely the cards will be printed before the end of the 22nd when uh, the PVC uh, collection will expire. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I really don't know if you have uh, any last words to add to this. Uh, you constantly talked about the arrays. Uh, you're talking about the words. So you're saying that from today, uh, PVC collection is moving from local government to wards. And so people should find out the words where this local government are associated to collect their PVCs. That's what you mean? Yes, 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 yes. 
Okay. And after, because we are going from 6th to 15th of January. So after 15th, that means on the 16th, we are going back to the local government offices. Okay. So from today? To continue the collection of the... Okay. So from today, uh, people should go to the... Tomorrow. Award. tomorrow from tomorrow? Okay. Yes. People should go to the wards, their wards. Yes, they, they should go to their areas. Okay. Between the hours of 9 a.m., 3 p.m., but I just told you that INEC in Lagos State has extended the collection time. So we are not going to close by 3 okay. on daily basis, inclusive of weekends. Okay. So they should please go as from tomorrow. But on the 16th, we are going back to the local government offices. Okay. For so the collection it, of the previous. So it means that uh, you no longer be available at the ward at the local government from tomorrow to be issuing the PDC. From tomorrow, yes. Nobody will be there to attend to them because every member of staff at the local government are moving to the RA. We are moving there. So if you just go, you might go there to check your RA, which will be pasted on which has been pasted hmm. on the wall of each local government. But you need to go to the RA to collect your card. I, I'm just wondering if that's not going to be too difficult for the people. But we'll leave this conversation to have it anytime soon, uh, just before uh, you know the election period. Thank you so much, Adenike, for being part of the show this morning. Thank you very much. All right, we appreciate your time. Uh, we have been speaking with Adenike Tadishe, uh, the head of department, Voter Education and Publicity Department right here in Lagos State. Uh, we do appreciate your time this morning and we hope that uh, Lagosians will trip out in their numbers to collect their PVCs uh, in the areas, just like you have mentioned. We'll take a break. When we return, the conversation continues right here. Please stay with us.